Uh, Phillips uh, 50PF7320 um, slash 10. We have a problem with it not starting up and all we have is the standby light here and nothing happening. I'm going to just plug it out now and plug it back in and uh, see the effect. Relay clicks twice. Okay, clicking off again and nothing. I can press the channel up button on the side and you can see it responding. It clicked. But that's it. What I'll do now next is I'll put this on its face and take the back covers off and have a look for uh, uh, any obvious signs of uh, capacitors faulty. I have to back off and I've had a look at the power supply. Uh, it looks like it's been in use for a long time. There's a lot of dust and uh, dirt on the power supply, but I can see straight away uh, two capacitors here bulging. If we can just get a close-up shot of them. Right there. And we also have another two here, if I can get back down to it. There are two capacitors here slightly bulging as well. So that's four capacitors I can see straight away they're bulging. I'm going to take that power supply out and I'm going to replace those caps and see what happens. The capacitor values that I uh, have to replace are um, we have two 3300 UF uh, 10 volt capacitors here and here we have two 680 UF 50 volt capacitors high temperature. Um, these 680 I'm going to put um, a thousand UF in their place. Replacing these with um, a thousand UF is not going to be a problem. I'm going to uh, unsolder these now. <coughs> This is double sided print. That's why I'm using the, this uh, desoldering tool. The capacitor just falls out. Uh, the capacitor just fell out. Uh, uh, Does a good job this uh, tool. It's a uh, the actual model number is there. SC dash seven thousand and. Uh, it's made by Howard Electronic Instruments um, in the USA. It's very good for uh, double-sided print. That's my four capacitors. Uh, the two 680 and then two uh, 3300 UF capacitors. I'm going to get some from stock and stick them in. I'm going to put these capacitors in now and there's one thing you have to bear in mind when you're doing these capacitors that they are polarity conscious and if you look here on the board there's stripe markings on it. That's where the negative lead of the capacitor is orientated towards. Um, 
your negative lead has got the negative symbol on that side and the corresponding lead is the negative In. These capacitors are going to be a bit big for going in, but I'm going to have to make them fit. I'm going to solder them in now using a, a standard soldering iron. the excess of the leads off and then what we do is we clean up the PCB with some alcohol Now the uh, board is ready to go back in the uh, TV. I have the power supply back in the uh, TV and I'm just going to plug it in. Relay clicked. Didn't hear it clicking off. Didn't hear that second latch. And I'm just going to have a look underneath the unit. So you can see anything. Don't know if yet the it has uh, the screen has come up and it is working. So what I'm going to do now is uh, put the back on, put the stand on it, and uh, put a signal into it and see what we have. Back is on the unit, stand is on, and I'm ready now to press the uh, button on the remote to uh, get it out of standby. Relay clicked. And there we are. We have a picture. And for the age of set, uh, not too bad of a picture either. Uh, it's not HD or anything like that. And it is definitely a two-man lift. Uh, you, it was a bit of a struggle trying to get it off that bench into an upright position. I did manage it, but next time I'll make sure I have a second person to help me. Hope that's uh, of some help out there uh, for somebody. Uh, thanks for watching.